Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Level 425 here, and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be talking about the reason why the uh, Spring Trap movement is what, it's, what it means for me. So if you are if you enjoy this, hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button down below to see more content like this, especially along with games and stuff. Around the five nights at Freddy's. All right, into it. Let's get into it. Uh, Springtrap. All right, Springtrap is a character that I adore very, very much. It's a character that responds well to the FNAF community. It's a very popular character at that, and so. The reason why the Dead by Daylight movement means so much to me is because a character that I really love and really adore, because I adore him as his design wise, then I adore him, him as his lore wise. So them both being what I love about him, him being in Dead by Daylight would be awesome. His lore wise, he killed five children. He was a murderer. And he was really, really bad. And so that fits into the department of being the murderer. Second part, his design wise, he is very creepy. And he, his design wise, you could see the organs within him. He is an animatronic with a human decaying body within him. What is more horrifying than that? So add that into there, along with the lore-wise, you got a perfect character for Dead by Daylight. And so the reason why people would like to uh, want it in there is because of those reasons. The reason why I want him in there it's because he's an awesome character. I, I, I'm not going to lie. He's really cool. He's one of my favorites. And I really would be crazy to not think I really don't want him in there. I really do want him in there. To play him as a character would be awesome. Hunting over the other four survivors. Possibly if they do add the part where he puts you in a suit and spring lock. That would be awesome. Springtrap in a hole in Dead by Daylight would be awesome. So this movement is pushing to have him in the, into the Dead by Daylight. There, I, I know there's some people who hate it out there. There's some people who love it. I'm one of the people who love it. And so far as we've seen it, the petition that I talked about from Xeno, Venom Xenomorph is going really high. Let me here. Let me show you. So I'll give it a second. I gotta do this. It always does this. So right now the petition has set thirty eight thousand signings. Over thirty eight thousand. It's almost thirty nine thousand. That's a lot of people. And dead by daylight, the the developers would be seeing this. And long was they added a survey. Where they want us to know what the next licensed killer would they want to be. I am pretty sure a lot of people put in Springtrap. And there's probably some other licensed killers they there'll be other people put in. It would be we would have to wait until they actually come out with the DLC or the the uh, trailer for the next killer to see who it is. See right here, Venom Demorph started a petition to to Behavior Interactor and to others. So, alongside that, I know for a fact that Springtrap is free. So if Dead by Daylight wants him, they will have to go through Scott Cawthon. And so far as we see it, huh? uh, that Funko incident, I heard about, yes, I heard about that. <laughs> Scott doesn't... Ah... Uh, Scott might have a little bit of a hard time uh, 
to do this. But since he's done with the storyline of Springtrap, which ended with Pizzeria, because the last ending scene where they all burned down, along with Michael Afton, I think it was Michael Afton, they all burned down with the Pizzeria. So yeah, they ended this storyline with Springtrap. And I think they're about to start with a new killer by the name of Vanny. I don't know if she's a killer or not. But we'll see by the new game FNAF Security Breach when that comes out. And I will be playing that on this channel, so that's another reason why to subscribe. And yeah. Spring Trap all the whole is he is free to be purchased. Not purchased rented. Because I think he Scott Costin can give the rights away to them for like a short time being so they could put him in the game but he can take it back as well so yeah Springtrap in Dead by Daylight could happen and it looks like with all these signings it possibility it might actually really happen don't get me wrong the movement has slowed down over a while heck I could be saying this and this video can get a freaking lot of views and blow me away but, yeah, uh, so far as I said, there are a hefty lot of people that really want Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. And I am one of them. So yeah, this is the reason why Springtrap means to me. He is a fun character. I love him with a passion. And, and <laughs> he's one of my favorites. Gotta admit it, he is one of my favorites. So yeah, this is the reason why this movement means a lot to me. So I hope you enjoyed this. If y'all did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more content, to see more content. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Goodbye, y'all.